Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. And uh, in today's video, I will be going over my Halalu slash Akuli rig and what I use to catch Halalu and Akuli. Um, now, before I go on with this video, a lot of you have been asking for this video since like last year. So I am sorry it took so long to for me to actually sit down and make it, but here it is. Um, and also just want to throw this out there that this is my rig and how i set it up i'm not saying it's the best rig i'm not saying it's the correct rig or the all-time guaranteed rig gonna catch every time you go out i'm not saying that it's just how what works for me you know um it, everyone everyone that i know does something a little different from what i do but this is what over the years has worked for me so hope it helped you guys out um if you're new to hallelujah fishing or whatever so yeah now on to the poles um <coughs> the the first pole would be a roddy it's a seven foot pole light action and probably the stiffer of the three poles i use now this one goes up to it says it goes up to like half half ounce weight i've gone all the way up to one one um ounce but yeah i wouldn't push it that far three fourths would be good but not one ounce um now i like this pole because it's t the top is flimsy you know it's has flex at the top but the base of it is pretty thick it's like see it's uh so it has a good base um i usually use this for slightly larger fish like a coolie menpachi a veil veil and whatnot um and then when onto the second pole my second pole is actually one of my favorites um i've had this for several years it's a shakespeare wild series ultra light now, when I say ultra light, it's like really thin. It's see that it is super thin. Like I'm not even. It has so much flex, and the good thing about this is when the hallelu are extremely small, like they don't, they tend not to rip off because of the play this pole has. Now, half ounce lead is the biggest I would go on this pull um three eights is actually more ideal it doesn't you don't give off range as far as casting because the a half ounce you'll kind of give off a little bit of range when casting the pole my all-time favorite pole would be this that's a okuma safina ultralight now unlike the shakespeare this one has a pretty nice base to it not too thick but it's still very flexible uh this one in particular i have to replace because i uh i broke the tip see that yeah so i accidentally broke the tip and it's a couple years old actually it's a, i think six at least six years old so i've caught a lot of fish with it on to the reels um I use between three reels. So you have the Okuma Safina. It's, I don't know what model. It says 25. So I'm assuming a 2500. The reel ratio on this is really slow. So if you want to want a fast retrieve, you have to. I wouldn't suggest using this. It came with the Okuma reel, but you would have to like spin pretty fast. Another one that I've had for quite a while is this Shimano Sienna 2500 and I used this for a lot of years. I mean, as you can see, it is pretty beaten up. I actually shouldn't be using this anymore. I've had this since 2010, I think. Oh, don't quote me on that. And the newest reel, a couple years old, is the casking mela 4000 um i've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this but for me i mean 
once a, a five pounder meal ate my hallelu and this held up um at the time i had a braided line on this but <laughs> so yeah uh this can stand up against a five pounder meal so yeah all right so on to the actual setup of my rig now i use six pound J line monofilament and um and all my reels so that's my base six pound J line monofilament now i use these half ounce i'm gonna put on this half ounce uh egg sinker and so yeah now something i've started doing like within the past few years is I started so before I put on my swivel I use a fairly good size um, bead I don't know if you can see that now you want to make sure the bead doesn't go inside of the egg sinker it'll stay like you no know, it'll stay it'll act as a stopper so and i'll explain in just a second all right so the reason why i started doing this i noticed a lot of the other fishermen were doing this and so you want to put oh, so you want to put the bead right after you put the egg sinker between the egg sinker and the swivel and what this uh, for me what this bead does is it prevents a lot of um it prevents a lot of rubbing from the lead onto where the knot is um i've noticed when i don't have this bead i tend to lose my setup a lot um my the line will cut right where the swivel and the lead meets. So, sorry, I just couldn't come up with the word there. So yeah, uh, the line usually cuts when I don't put the bead on. So that's why I put that bead. As far as the barrel swivel, I use a size 12. Um, Actually, you could go anywhere from 10 through 14, but for me, I usually just stick with 12. Um, I have never had any of my barrel swivels break on me. I mean, it's, it is only cat Halalu and Akuli, but. <clears throat> so, um, what knot I use on my swivel is an improved clinch knot. Um, I started playing around with the uni knot um it's for my plugging setup the uni knot is pretty um pretty good but i tried the uni knot on this thinking it'd be a lot faster to tie and i was pretty wrong um so i use the improved clinch knot on my barrel swivel so after all that you would have your egg sinker your bead and then your swivel um, again so the bead is just to prevent rubbing i guess that's the best way i can explain it because when i don't add this bead the lead ends up cutting my line and i lose the whole rig as far as the leader line I use this fluorocarbon J line, uh, three to four pound test, and that usually six pound doesn't usually work for me. Um, it could, but especially when the halalu are smaller, I've noticed for me they don't really bite as often as if I were to use say three to four pounds. Once again, I'm using the improved clinch knot to tie off the leader line onto the barrel swivel. For me, a part of the Hallelu rig, the most important part I feel to get to your rig is the length. Excuse me, 
of your leader line. How I measure the length of my leader line. After you, you reel up the swivel, ob the lead and the swivel all the way to the tip. First, I start off by extending all the way down to the bottom. So th that's what I mean by length of the pole. Um, I go down the length of the pole and then depending on the scenario, um, most of the time I will go two arm lengths. So you, from the end, go one, two. Now, sometimes I may go three if, again, um, everything varies. Uh, I'll just cut everything short. I go either one to three arm lengths on my setup. Now, after you measure out your leader line length, you know, um, another important part I to the, your rig is your beads. There are these little beads. Uh, I've heard, a, you know, I've showed some of the old timers here and they're like, oh, paliki kind of your, your stuff. But uh, it's just what I like to do. I, I like to use the standard little red bead. I don't know if you can see that, but this tiny little red bead. And then I put usually put on a second bead. The second bead could vary. I used to like to use rice beads from the gold, silver, white, black. I've used all of them and now I don't simply because everyone buys them all. So I have referred to just regular silver beads you can find at like Ben Franklin's and whatnot. This is the little, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a little silver bead. It looks like a hexagon very shiny the honestly does it make a difference in your rig for me i think so but i'm not saying you have to put a silver bead on but it's what i do so yeah for the size hooks um i again ranges from 10 to 14 size hooks so yeah this is a size 12 i believe um a hook and again, the size of your hook will vary on the, how big the halalu or akuli are. Of course, the bigger they are, the you want to increase the size of your hook. Because if you use a little hook, most times they'll just swallow it. And then you'll spend more time trying to take out the hook from its gills rather than the mount. Um, the knot I use to tie off my hook is called a snell knot. Um, I had to look it up. Uh, my dad taught me this knot when I was in, I don't know, when I first started years ago, like in elementary school. I don't remember him telling me the, the name of it. So I looked it up. It's called a snail knot. And uh, let me know guys if I'm not gonna go step by step on these knots, but if you would like me to, uh, let me know in the comments or in messages, whatever, if you would like me to do a tutorial on how I tie my knot. So I do a snow knot uh, to tie off my hook, and that would be the end of my, my setup, I guess. <laughs> oh, and I guess another important part to your rig would be the lure. What lure do you, I use? secret nah, true. um but seriously um the important i guess is the the lure you choose does play a huge part as well there's a lot of stuff but uh the most common i've seen is the green stripe or stripe green strips um almost any brand green strips works um but I'm gonna get into that. So most common one is this Hawaiian angler. This is the blue one. As you know, as most of you know, when you're halalu a coolie fishing, you buy all the colors because you don't know which one's gonna work. Um, sometimes they're picky and they don't like the green. So you, you cast 10 times with a certain color switch, 
cast another so many times as another color switch until you find the right one. I'm guilty of having a whole freaking container full of lures. I have a lot of lures and uh, it's I carry one pack of each color when I go out because I don't know which one's biting that day. But last year's, I don't know, all the Hallelu videos I was recording, I used this very pack of Knox lures. Um, Knox is a lure maker here on the Nai. He uh, loves fishing, and if you check him up on Instagram, he does, he makes a lot of a lot of nice lures. Um, and I'm not being paid to say that. I just like his lures. I don't have it with me, but I literally have Ziplocs of his lures. Um, why I like this, the Knox lures, over the Hawaiian anglers. Um, simply because, again, this is the first pack I ever got from Knox. And over the course of all of last year, I haven't fished this year, so I can't say all of this year, but all of out of the whole last year, I only used three of his, um, of the lures in there. And I like it a lot better than Hawaiian Angler because they last long. Like, they literally last forever. Again, first and only pack I ever got from Knox as far as Halloween lures. And I still have quite a few of them. Um, they last long. They're perfect because, don't lie, for all the Halalu and Akuli fishermen out there, how many of you have actually like pulled out a strip, cut off like half an inch off the top because you think it's too long and the Halalus are like getting the end, not just, we all do it, you know what I mean? But, and, and I like the fact that these stay on the hook because you don't see a bunch of, you know, you won't see a bunch of these floating in the, in the water because the hollow ripped it off your, your hook. So, anyway, so if you have a time, have the time, check out uh, Knox Lures on Instagram. Uh, he's been coming up with some pretty nice colors as far as like papillo lures and you know just whipping lures in general so so yeah that concludes my hallelu setup um again like i said earlier in the video that this is not the absolute correct way to tie a hallelu rig it's just what works for me and what I've learned over the years through trial and error. When it comes to fishing in general, like from each fisherman, whether it's lua fishing, plugging, halalu fishing, manpachi fishing, bottom fishing, any kind of fishing, um, the setup will vary from person to person. You know, uh, you don't have to make your leader line three leader, three arm lengths long. Some people only need to make half an arm length like my wife uh i tied she couldn't throw a, a long leader line so i made half an arm length and she was catching more than me so go figure but anyway also let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you would like to see the next video after this will be my live bait rig so stay tuned for that a lot of you has been asking for my live bait rig video just as much as this <clears throat> um hallelu setup video so that will be dropping at the most within the week um yeah and an update a lot of you have been asking me where are my dive videos have i been diving and all that answer that question no i have not been diving the weather has been the surf has been bad because of all the rain we've been having the water's murky and i've been just solely focusing on hunting which i'm struggling miserably uh that's another topic anyway um so yeah i 
I haven't po dove at all this month. I was, I think I said this earlier, I was in Maui for a weekend just to get away. Um, you know, just to get away for a little bit. So yeah, um, and also if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and we will see you guys in the next one. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate all the support and the feedback you guys give me. Actually, I enjoy reading the comments, so good and bad. I read them all. Anyway, the next one shoots, guys.